Hi, this is Brian Gilman with Scout Support. In today's video, we're going to cover navigating the Top Shelf Report Writer. To access Top Shelf Reports, first log into the Top Shelf Admin Console. You'll notice that we have a section here for quick access to reports, but for this video, we're going to go into the Report Writer located at the top by clicking Reports. Top Shelf has over 120 built-in reports. Let's go through some of the categories that are built in. The Audit category has reports that contain information around nearly every action that takes place in Top Shelf. For example, if you want to see every asset that was moved in a specific date range, we'd open the Asset Move report. The Custom category may contain custom reports designed by your team or a Top Shelf support representative. Dashboards can be created to show multiple reports in a single view. The Document section will hold custom HTML forms that can be created using the Report Writer. Most commonly, a customized pick list or packing slip would be found here. The Inventory category has built-in reports tailored to showing you your current on-hand inventory. It also has allocated inventory reports to show you an adjusted inventory based on open transactions. The Kits category contains a Kit Build Capacity report, which will show you how much of a finished good you can manufacture based on the materials you currently have in stock. The price category has various reports that have to do with inventory cost, sales numbers, and receiving costs. The most popular report in this category is on-hand inventory cost based on part record. This will show you your current inventory value, providing that you have associated a cost with your parts and top shelf. The receiving category contains reports surrounding incoming receiving transactions. Receiving by date range is a commonly used receiving report. The Scan In Scan Out category shows you inventory adjusted using the Add and Remove Client Inventory features. And the Shipping category contains reports surrounding outbound shipping transactions. Shipping by date range is a commonly used shipping report. Let's open a report and look at some of the options. For this example, I'm going to open the Total Current Inventory report. Click on the report to run it. You'll notice that at the top we have four filters set up in this report. This company has multiple locations, so it has the option to filter by client and location. It also has a bin filter if you want to see inventory only in a specific bin. And finally there is a part filter. I'm going to enter in a part number here to see all of the inventory I have for this product. After we've entered in the filter, click Update Results. As we can see here, in Warehouse 1, the product is in four different bins. It also gives me the part name, description, and the quantity in the bin, along with a subtotal at the bottom. In Warehouse 2, I have one product in the bin. We can also add filters on the fly by clicking the blue plus sign at the top. We'll select what field we want to filter. I'm going to select Quantity. Next, we want to click on the gear to give us some filter options. This will bring up the Field Properties window where we can change things like the format the field is displayed in, whether or not to display a subtotal, visually group by this field, and label and value justification. But we want to change our filter operator in this example. Currently is set to simply equals. I want to change it to show only bins that have less than 5 in them, so I'm going to select is less than and click OK. I'll enter my value and hit update results. Now the report is only showing bins with less than five of the selected product in them. If we look at the top of the page, we have a toolbar that gives us some options of what to do with the data. We can save any changes to this report or save it as a new report. We can also print the report. If we click the down arrow next to the printer option, we'll see that we can either print out a standard printout or select a PDF to be generated. The next button is for exporting the report. The options are for Excel, export to Word, export to CSV, or XML document. Clicking the email button will open your computer's default email program and email a link to this report. Please keep in mind that the person receiving this email must have access to Top Shelf. The next button will let us choose how many results we want to be displayed. And the last button will open up the Report Designer. Please see the Report Designer video for more information on designing your own custom reports. In the upper right hand corner we can also modify fields which are displayed in the report. The left hand column shows available columns that are not being used and the right hand column shows the columns that are currently being used. 
Let's say we want to exclude a client and location from this report. Select the two fields that you want to exclude and click the arrow to move them out of the used columns section. You can also modify which order the columns are shown in by using the up and down arrows. Click update results when complete. This concludes our navigating reports tutorial. If you'd like more advanced information on building reports, please see the report designer video in the help section. For more information on this or any other top shelf feature, please visit our website at www.scoutsft.com, send an email to support at scoutsft.com, or give us a call.